Alright, before I get this crow started, um, I just want to send my heartfelt condolences um, to da the Dallas fan base and to the family of um, Boy Jones 12. Uh, I don't know if he was necessarily a Dallas. Well, I don't know if he was necessarily a Dallas fan because um, I really didn't know a whole lot about him. I, he wasn't really someone I knew personally. I just learned about um, the unfortunate past thing when I watched um, Ripper Eagles video. Um, and I, I think, I don't know if I did my um, pregame video before him or after him. I, 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 was, I think I did mine like on Wednesday. And I don't know if he did his Wednesday or if he didn't do his till Thursday. But either way, um, uh, heartfelt condolences to Boy Jones 12's family um, during this trying time. And, you know, if he is a Cowboys fan, and if he, you know, is a Dallas fan, heart felt condolences to the Cowboys fan base. Um, now to get to this game, guys, I'm not even fucking mad anymore, guys, because, you know, I mean, what's the point of me putting myself in a position where, you know, I'm going to have fucking high blood pressure? Because you know what you're going to get from this Eagles team every week, man. You, you just do. It, it's so fucking predictable, man, that, you know, even Jason Garrett, you know, knew how to prepare for it. Um, you know, so shout out to congratulations to j -Wad, uh Lizzie Freak, Smitty, the great one, Cowboy TD. Who else? South of Haven, Heaven. Um. Who else, man? And if, if I forgot to mention you, yeah, I, I do apologize. There's just so many of you. You guys whooped our asses tonight, man. And you know what? I don't want to hear, you know, any Eagles fan blaming this game on Nick Foles. Because on that one drive... Uh, you know, Nick Foles did some good things. That um, one touchdown he threw to Jeremy Macklin, beautiful throw. And then, you know, the second, I think it was the second drive in the second half, we had another good drive going, only to have it called back. He threw the ball, completed it to Jeremy Macklin, and then only to have it called back by that fucking piece of shit King Dunlap who gets called for not one, but two hands to the face. Man, I hope they fucking cut your fucking ass. You ain't nothing but a human fucking turnstile for guys like DeMarcus Ware and Anthony Spencer today. You fucking suck, man. I'll tell you what, guys. I, I would just leave fools in the rest of the year, you know. Get, get them the experience because the Eagles aren't going anywhere anyway. So give them the experience of this year, and then you know you'll we'll find we'll know for sure. You know these last games going into next year, we'll know you know if we have a quarterback or if we have to draft one or sign one out of free agency. But I would just let them stay in the rest of the year, man. You know. It's, you know, if nothing else, anyway, see what, you know, kind of team you can have for next year, because right now, that's all we have to look forward to. But, you know, I'm, like, I'm not even, I don't know. Man, it's just, I can't come up with any more anecdotes, guys, you know. Did you know, we, alright, first of all, first off, the Eagles have lost five in a row. The last three games, the Eagles have lost by a combined total of 43 points. 43 fucking points we've lost by in three games. And you know what? I hope Jeff Lurie fires Andy Reid tonight, man. Like I said before, man, our season's over anyway. Why not give somebody else on that a shot to just... See whatever they can do. It's probably not going to be much, but at this point, it can't be any worse than Andy. But look, I'm gone. You know, I, I'm mad. You know, our season's over, guys. Dallas raped us tonight. 
So, congratulations, Jay Wad, Lizzie Freak, Cowboy TD, you know, Snam, you know, Lizzie Freak, all you guys. You guys whooped our ass. I'm gone.